Hey, podcast bot, will you will you do the theme song this time? We're talking about podcasts. podcasts. We're talking about <laughs> itty bitty podcasts. Podcasts. Hello. That's what Jordan does at the beginning of two chunks. I say Merry Mini Monday, <laughs> Chunkies. We are without coffee. I'm Carter. Carter I'm, with no caffeine. I'm Dreamland Doge. <laughs> I'm just had one cup, Jordan, and uh, I've just had one cup. We're sleepy Only boys one? this morning. Yeah. We've got the sleepy eyes. I've We've got been around zero each other. Cups. I am. I have had also. No cups. Yeah. This is going to be a great episode, though. It's going to be good. I'm so excited. It's going to be about one minute long. Yep. And then we're just going to wrap it up and go drink some coffee. <laughs> yep. If you don't hear from one of us, like after two minutes in for the rest of the podcast, just know they fell asleep. asleep. Someone's asleep. asleep. They completely fell asleep. If you hear like a big thunk, that's me kicking somebody's shin as the only person who's had any coffee. <laughs> Guys, I have an idea, though, that might be able to replace coffee. Okay. Oh, man. It's, it's a little boost today. Is it? A little adrenaline Red boost. Bull? No. Oh. We're, today, we're just playing games. <gasps> just games? Ooh, I love we're going to start like a field with... Day. <laughs> What we call it the movie game? Is that what we've called it? Yeah, we yeah. we've already played several rounds on here. I want to do it for a little bit longer. Oh, I don't know if my brain's the, working. I think the, this is going to be fun though. I think the place that we ended was Doge with Ocean's Eleven, right? Okay, yeah. and he got so there it's with... like a whole new uh, like we've got yeah. like it's wide open in the to movie us. game. And does someone want to explain the movie game? Because last time I tried to do that. Yeah, just a real quick refresher yeah, on yeah, the movie yeah. game. It is a game played in the round. Uh, you go mm-hmm. in any order that you'd like, but uh, essentially you're going from one movie and or actor to the next. And so basically somebody names an actor in a movie mm-hmm. and uh, that next person can either name a different, that actor, that same actor in a different movie or take another actor from that movie and go to a different movie. Yep. So you're always changing movies. You will never able, like if he says... George Clooney, Ocean's Eleven right now. Yes. We can never get back to specifically George Clooney, Ocean's Eleven. Right, but we can get back to George Clooney or Ocean's Eleven. Just never. No, George you can't say that together. Right. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I, so, think, I think, if I remember correctly, I think that is what I said. Was it George Clooney? I, I don't know how you... Was it? I can't remember. That's, maybe it was Brad Pitt. I don't remember. Just pick one. Start from there. Let's do George Clooney. Okay. George Clooney, Ocean's yeah. Eleven. All right. So that's where we're landing. Yeah. My friend, that's where we're taking off from. Oh. This is a brand new horizon for us. Speaking to of taking off, I think it's me. It's me and then you. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. George Clooney. Gravity. <laughs> I'm okay. moving with Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock and me. You remember he sang this song? Oh, for- yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm going to go Sandra Bullock, Miss Congeniality. And also, you gave away that Sandra Bullock was in it, which I knew already, but listeners be wary. Oh, that could dude, have been that, I do that, that kind of stuff. That was John Mayer. I do that, that kind of Carter. stuff. That wasn't you guys. That was all the time, dude. John, yeah, be careful. John, stop ruining our game. Sorry. I'm sorry about so, it. I'm I'll sorry. tell you, though, in the movie game, a game like Gravity is fun because you can quickly eliminate ever going back to it. Like, because yeah. there are two people, like, there's hardly anyone else in right. the cast of that movie. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to go back to it. Sandra Bullock, Gravity. And now Gravity is done completely. You can't name another Sandra Bullock movie? No, I just wanted to eliminate that movie completely. Part of my personal quest to make sure nobody ever talks about that movie. Yeah, I'm just He's kidding. had it I, with I Gravity. Like He's like trying to float all the time. <laughs> um, love it. Sandra Bullock, Speed. Hmm. Keanu Reeves, In... Speed two. <laughs> this time it's a cruise ship. We're fast again. <laughs> it it really is a cruise ship. Keanu Reeves in the day the Earth stood still. Mm. The remake. Keanu Reeves, John Wick three. Ooh. Which that's just to reference box office ball. I'm still in the lead. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. kind of figured. Uh, Halle Berry, mm. Catwoman. Ugh. <laughs> Halle Berry, X Men. What if you were like leather bodysuit, Kill Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Halle Berry, X Men. Great. This is this is almost an oceans type thing to do. Sure. There's lots of boys and girls in this one. Hugh Jackman, mm. 
Logan. Okay. Okay. Hugh Jackman, the greatest showman. Mm. I think we said Hugh Jackman prisoners in the last round, didn't we? Yes. The last episode. Yeah. Man, I wish he'd been in other movies. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, X-Men 2. What's it called, Doge? It's called X2. The third one is called X-Men, The Last Stand. There you go. Jennifer Lawrence. No. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so if you catch yourself before somebody calls your mistake, you're safe. You don't get a strike. If Doge or I had had the wherewithal and caffeine intake to jump all over that, (laughs) Uh, that would be a strike for Carter. My be it. (laughs) Um, Patrick Stewart. There it is. Yeah. Logan. (laughs) Hmm. So Patrick Stewart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is one of those mornings where Stewart, Stewart, Stewart. How does he? That, that, I mean, Patrick, I feel like you were close right there. So Patrick Stewart. It's nah, tough. It's hard. It's a hard one. Um, I'm having trouble remembering literally anybody else that's in this movie. So I will go Hugh Jackman. Huh? In. X-Men Origins, colon, Wolverine. Oh, yeah, dude. He had, he played Wolverine a lot. For many times. Sure For many wow. times. Ryan Reynolds and Green Lantern. There you go. And we'll stop there. Okay. And instead, okay. Of, instead of halftime between our games, we're going to call this Yas time. Okay. Oh. So Yas or Pass, Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm kidding. We have a whole day tomorrow <laughs> yeah, to talk whole about. Thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To talk about that movie, which I'm really excited for. Um, yes or pass, Stuber. I'm kind of yes on this one, I think. This is the one that has uh, Bautista. Yeah, and Camille Nanjiani. And Camille Na- and Nanjiani. I think I just love everything he does. Yeah. And I'm sold already. So your pull is is Camille over Dave Bautista? I love both, but yeah. Yeah, I think so. In yes or pass... When I was doing the research, I think I, I I don't know why the creative juices were flowing so much. They're not now. I think creative yeah. juices also called coffee. Yeah. I think so. So maybe that I had a lot fair. of coffee, but I was like, this would be a fun game. Anyways, as I'm reading some of the um, movie info, so on Flickster, it's called movie info. It's just basically synopsis about a movie, right? A little tease. Stubers was a quick-tempered cop who's recovering from eye surgery, recruits a mild-mannered Uber driver to help him catch the heroin dealer who murdered his partner. Okay, cool. So that's fun. And every now and then when we do Wass, Wass? Every now and then when we do Yasser Pass, there's always a bunch of random movies that none of us have ever heard of that are coming out on the same day. We usually try and Yasser Pass true. the week or next two weeks of movies that are coming out. So what I've decided is, Let's take advantage of you guys not knowing anything about these movies. So is this a game within a game? It's a game within a game. Oh, my goodness. It's games all the way down. Not really. It's not really a game within a game. I don't know what game it's inside of. It's just a game. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read you the details of the movie. And whoever I decide is closest to the actual, you're going to try and guess the title of the movie. Mm, Okay. So whoever is the closest to I like thinking of it as a game within a game. Okay. Because we just started Yes or Pass about eight seconds ago. But yes, our pass isn't a game. You said it's all games today, Carter. Don't mess with me, man. But it's the ass time. Halftime is between the games. Don't mm. mess with me, man. Mm. So Half this time is like is not a game. This is like the kid that comes out and tries to make full court shots to win like an Arby's gift card at a high school basketball game. That's exactly game. what. So That's it's not exactly a game. What. It's a contest. <laughs> yes. Within a break, within a game. Two couples, <laughs> each working through relationship issues, rent a gorgeous house in the desert for a Wii Sports and drug-fueled escape from reality. As tensions escalate throughout a debaucherous night, things take an unexpected turn when a woman claiming to be a neighbor with car trouble shows up at the door. She seems harmless enough, or so they think. You want to take a guess at the name of this movie? Whoever's closer wins. Uh, Doge, I'm going to let you go first, this one. Because I've got one more after it. Oh, man. I'm going to go real, like, B-movie slasher title, Slaycation. Ooh, that's good. That's very good. The Stabbing Cabin. (laughs) Man. Stabbing in the woods. Stabbing in the woods. But it's in the desert. (laughs) Stabbing Cabin and Slaycation. So it's called Trespassers, which I'm deciding is really lame compared to what y'all came up with. Yeah, it's a really bad name. This is like a sequel to Prisoners. 
you have almost it's the first time just this is split a, the uprights yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, because you have both done kind of the same thing with your title. So I've got one more and then we're gonna play. We'll take that as a tie. Yeah, oh, that's okay. a tie. That rounds it that's a tie. That's a tie. tie with me. The world's smallest whales near extinction as Mexican cartels and the Chinese mafia destroy their habitat. What? <laughs> Come, these are all coming out this oh coming gosh. weekend. The world's smallest whales near extinction as Mexican cartels and the Chinese mafia destroy their habitat. It's kind of like the game of Balderdash. You could do it for yeah. a laugh, but you're not getting close. It's like are you're trying to guess what the name of this is. 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. So... The hamsters on the wheels also haven't had much coffee either. No, these, <laughs> these hamsters tired. No. Read me the synopsis one more time. The world's smallest whales near extinction as Mexican cartels and the Chinese mafia destroy their habitat. Jordan, okay. you're first. <clears throat> I have it. This okay. movie is called Ocean of Pain. I think this movie is called Whaleito. Whaleito? Jordan wins. It's called Sea of Shadows. Whoa! What? <laughs> That's fun. That's why we play that game. Oh, man. That's why we play sea that of game. Shadows. A game still not named, but I do have one that is named. And this is going to probably be your new waiting in a line or traveling game. Okay. Okay. You'll have to have one person who's not necessarily participating. It's kind of like how I am. It's kind of like you have to have a ref yeah. of some kind. But this game is called Extra Credit. Okay. And it's a game I'm kind of proud of. So what Extra Credit is... Did you, did you make this up? Is this a Carter Ridge? This is a Carter Ridge. Okay. Extra Credit uses the Internet Movie Database. So it's IMDb. When you're on IMDb, uh, anytime you look up an actor, it will give you a known for, which is always four credits. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it gives you a known for specifically. So what has happened is I give each of these. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say an actor's name. And then you two as a team have to work together. Like you can lock stuff in. Like if you lock in what you think your top four are, or you can like check in on me. Like if it's something like we did George Clooney, like what are his top four credits? It's probably pretty hard. Yeah. Like what the top four yeah. he's most known for. Movies. But if one of them was Ocean's Eleven, which I think it is, probably. you're like, okay, we're going to lock in Ocean's Eleven. Okay, great. If you lock it in and you're wrong, that means you only have a possible of three points from there on. So a miss gets you no points. The goal is you're going to have three actors when we play this. And each of them has four credits that they're known for. Okay? If you can get 12 points, you win as a team. There's a lot of good board games out there where it's a two-team. That's team. a perfect score. Yeah. No, but here's the thing. It's called extra credit. If you get all four credits for any of them, you get six points. <sighs> If you oh, get all four of their credits Carter. for the known force, you get you six. You shouldn't have. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Here? Yeah. So we're going to do yeah. a Spider-Man Far From Home edition. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Of okay. extra credit. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with Tom Holland. Extra credit. What do you think of the top four movies that Tom Holland is known for? I feel like it's got to be all four of his MCU movies, right? He's also in In the Heart of the Sea. Yeah. And he's been in five MCU movies, hasn't he? Civil War, both Avengers, both Spider Mans. Men's, Spider Man's. Spider Man, Spider Man's. Jeez. Okay. I feel pretty confident about Homecoming. Yeah. Let's lock in Homecoming for sure. Bing, bing, bing. Okay. One point. I feel like Infinity War is pretty likely, but Endgame's bigger. But I, t I, t I typically find that brand new movies are not in the actors' top fours very often. I, think, I feel more confident that Endgame would be in than Infinity War. It's brand new. It's maybe the crazy. biggest movie, like the biggest movie of all time. No, 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 I know, I know. But I feel like a lot of times they don't end up with brand new movies in their top four for a little bit. So thanks, Jordan. I'm going to give you all Infinity War. Endgame is not there. And that's a good point that mm. it happened on the very first time that we're playing this. That tends to happen on IMDb. If something's still in theaters, which I think with the release back... Oh, it is still in, isn't it? It's yeah. not usually in the known for of playing like a super extra safe. Yeah. <sighs> so that's so he's got two. two. So bing bing on Infinity War. Two for two, bing bing. I, <clears throat> I, I think feel, I feel like in the heart of the sea is probably on that. I think it's a good shot, but I, I would feel more confident that Civil War is probably on it as his first role. 
Was that his first thing, really? As Spider-Man, yeah. Wow. I know it's Spider-Man, but like... Oh, I don't know if it was his first role ever. Gotcha. But I know it was his first role as Spider-Man. I feel like that... It's probably a big one. I'm less confident in that one than I am in The Heart of the Sea. Oh, really? I just don't feel like anybody saw it. <laughs> I saw it, but maybe maybe a bunch of people did. I don't know. But I don't feel confident that his whole top four is Marvel, so it's got to be something else. And was he right. in something else besides In the Heart of the Sea that wasn't Marvel? He was in that... Uh... Actually, I don't think that's come out yet. He did a movie with Daisy Ridley, right? I don't know. I don't think that's come know. out yet. You don't feel confident about Civil War? I don't. Because he's a smaller role in that. I mean, he's a smaller role in Infinity War. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try lock it in. Walk, lock in Civil War? Yeah. Lock in Civil War. Bing, bing. Okay. okay. Three for three. So this next one, it would be worth t- technically three points because you would get two extra credit. Yeah. I, I, I don't think four. it's all Marvel. The only thing I can think of is in the heart of the sea. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, let's lock in in the heart of the sea. No, Dang. not that. It's called The Impossible. He had that movie with Naomi Watts, Ewan McGregor. Uh, don't even know it. Yeah. So that's... Never would have gotten there. That's what's fun about games like that too. It's it's almost like the movie game in terms of like it's it's technically research. So now you're like, anytime you hear The Impossible, mm. you're like, that's the one that evidently he's known for. So it could lead you to like watching a movie. Someday. So now we have to get a perfect score on one of these or we can't win. Yeah. That's how it goes. And welcome to the next round. Samuel L. Oh, Jackson. Gosh. No. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I feel pretty confident. Bing, bing. I think, I think that Snakes on a Plane is a huge deal. Yeah. I think that... Um, you think he's got a Marvel in there? <sighs> Probably. Which one, though? Know. So with your Bing, bing, you have four points right now. So yeah. even if you nixed the, even if the next three were weren't, you could still get a perfect score on the next one. No, but you have to have twelve points. Never yeah. mind. We might decide that this is a ten point kind of game if you're doing three actors. That could work. That's fair. <laughs> could work to our advantage. Um. So okay, snakes on a plane is a big deal. Bing bing. What snakes on a plane? Oh, I'll give it okay. to you. Okay, great. Fair enough. So we got two left. <sighs> Those are two big ones. Um. So. He's a huge role in The Hateful Eight, and I know people love that one. Yeah. He is, you know, he plays a huge role in Captain Marvel if he was going to, but that one's also pretty new. I don't know if it's been around long enough to be, make top I four. think if it's going to be a Marvel one, it's going to be Winter Soldier because he's that's his biggest role outside of Captain Marvel, I feel like. Do you think we've got a Star Wars in there? Oh, we could have a Star a Wars A prequel in there. in there? Isn't it crazy everything he's been in? Oh, my gosh. Y'all are already two for two, though. That's great. Man. This was this, this could be a ten point game, I think. Okay. Does twelve feel too tough? Twelve is uh, almost requires perfect. I mean, ten feels pretty unachievable at this point too. But maybe we just don't know very much about movies. We're at five right now. Yeah. If we can get one more of these, we're in pretty good shape. We still have to be perfect. Next round. What's great about this is it will be up to the chunkies. Like if you're if you ever want to play this, and I, know, I realize it's the first time we've played, so you might not have a good grip yet of wanting to go and play with your friends, but it'll be up to y'all. Like if you've got a bunch of friends that you want to bring into the movie world and they don't know much, you're trying easy stuff. Maybe it's like you don't have to get even 10 points. Maybe it's less than that. Just uh, one. Name so one movie. Celebrate <laughs> every small Pitt victory. I'm trying to think of like iconic. It's Samuel L. Jackson. It, could, it isn't anybody yeah. else and it couldn't be anybody else. You've hinted. Or you have said one of these already. <sighs> You want to go Winter Soldier? You feel good about that? I was going to say Hateful Eight. That's the only one we've said. Oh, I did. We did. You think he's in, got two Tarantinos in his best known for? Yeah. He's a big deal in the Hateful Eight. I was about to say. The Hateful Eight. Bing, bing. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a Star War. It doesn't sound like it's going to be a Marvel because if it's not Winter Soldier and he said we haven't said that one. So so would it help to know? I, I, I'll do a hint with this one because in the known for section, usually the they're placed, not chronologically. You would say that. In terms of like the most known for, and then it kind of goes to like whatever the fourth one is, is the last that made it into the known for. Mm. Does that make sense usually? Mm. So the order right now is Pulp Fiction, Hateful Eight, Snakes on a Plane. So you don't have the fourth one, which is the hardest one. And it's another Tarantino film. It is another Tarantino film? Okay, it's got to be Jackie Jan- Brown then. No, he's in Django too. I'm say he's in Django. I'm going to say Django. Yeah, I think it's probably Django. Wrong. Jackie Brown. Ah! So y'all have six points, and you're going to the final one, the finale. So we have to get all four of this to win. You have to get all four. Jake 
Gyllenhaal. Okay. Donnie Darko, lock it in. Yeah. Bing, bing. <laughs> I was pretty you, confident about that. You, Ryan Seacrest, did me. Um, I think Brokeback is a possibility. Yeah, I do too. Um, um, yeah, I think Brokeback's a huge possibility. Bubble Boy, he was in. Prisoners is honestly a pretty big possibility. I think Zodiac's a huge possibility. It's gotta be. Zodiac is definitely one. Zodiac, lock it in. Wrong. What? Are you kidding me? You've already lost the game. You have lost the game. No, so yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, or it's, I mean, according to IMDb, Donnie Darko for sure is in there. Donnie Darko, Prisoners. Yep. Um, bing, bing. Broke back. Bing, bing. Not Bubble Boy. If, <laughs> not Zodiac? No. There was one that has been more recent that is... Nightcrawler? Yeah. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Bing, yeah. bing. So there's the extra credit. Pretty tough game. <clears throat> That's a hard one. That is so fun, though. But it's a lot of fun. Team game. I so think you I even, hate it. I love it. Because I lost. <laughs> <laughs> but those are hard. Like, it's... I want to be able to play that with movies that we're about to see or that we're about to review on the next day that at least have three yeah. pretty big actors. Yeah. And so I do one. think we're going to play again next week. Yeah. So that'll be fun. But um, that's kind of our game game day. Cool. I which love which it. had a halftime, which was yes time. So it's not a game, Jordan. It's not it's, a game. It was, it's fine. There's no it's games in that's games okay. here. And so, but that's that's our episode for today. I wanted to keep it cash. Mm, yeah. Cash it was. So to sign off today, please say your name. And then tell me your coffee-themed movie title based on, it's a biopic based on the last two hours of your life and the next 30 minutes of your life. I'm Carter. For your favorite caffeine-fueled movie, Brew Chunks and a Hunk. Nice. <laughs> That's good. That's our coffee shop that we're opening. Yes. There's going to be mystery meats in the coffee. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's your hunks and chunks in the brew. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> They're not on board, everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm Doge, and introducing a hard-hitting investigative journalistic look at the way coffee affects my cognitive functions. Coming this fall is Bean Brain. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You I'm, have like you have exhaustion tears right now. I do, <laughs> no, I do this too. watering. <laughs> I'm Jordan. Coming next summer, a look into one man's search for purpose: the meaning of life. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> also, shout out to Crumb and Kettle. We coming. We're, yeah, we're, we're on our way. We're, we're coming, coming literally right, right now. <laughs> <laughs>